Did you know that sound quality affects the overall impression of a video? Yes, it's true. Most people listen to the content and only then they watch it. The visuals serve as a background for the audio and it's crucial to get it right. For this video, I've prepared five useful tips for improving the sound quality in Mobile Video Editor. Let's get started. Most viewers expect videos to not only be visually appealing, but also sound good. Won't you agree that clearly recorded and edited sound helps to better understand and the meaning of the video. Well-balanced volume levels, clear dialogues, and the absence of noise always makes the information more accessible and easier to digest. On this channel, we have already published many videos where sound editing tips and tricks, be sure to check them out too. In Mobile Video Editor, working with sound is super convenient thanks to the special audio section. Here you'll find a collection of music and sounds that you can safely use in your projects without the risk of copyright infringement and getting your channel blocked on YouTube. To add the track to your video, simply drag and drop it to the timeline and then right click on it. The audio tools menu provides everything you need to work with sound. The first thing I would like you to do is check out the noise removal section. This tool will clean your video, all those annoying background sounds that can spoil the viewing experience. Let's say you shot the video outdoors and now the audio is riddled with the noise of passing cars or gusts of wind. To fix this, there are two main methods. The first is AI noise reduction, which uses AI, obviously, to recognize and remove noise automatically. AI takes some time to process everything, but it's much faster and easier than changing your audio setup or re-recording the video. The second option, right below AI, allows for manual noise removal using a convenient slider that controls the intensity of noise reduction. Once you're satisfied with the results, simply click on Apply. Noise removal is especially useful when you need viewers to focus on dialogue or music rather than random noises from the surrounding world. Now is your golden moment to kick off your YouTube journey. Get all the goods to craft top-notch videos with ease. Mobavi Unlimited is an all-in-one solution that's got everything you need. If you've been struggling with large, unwieldy footage or on your phone, Mobavi has you covered. With its easy-to-use tools, you can effortlessly convert your footage into a more manageable format and even enhance its quality by up to eight times. Mobavi Unlimited also also includes a powerful photo editor that lets you get creative with video thumbnails. You can crop, resize, apply filters, and add text, stickers, and frames to your images, creating stunning visuals that will captivate your audience. So if you're tired of the struggles that come with video editing and you're looking for effortless and impressive results, I highly recommend giving Mobavi Unlimited a try. Why wait for the stars to align? Dive in now and score up to an incredible 85% off on Mobavi's finest apps for a limited time time only. Don't miss out, click that link and seize the savings today. Now let's move on to the next tip, volume level adjustment. In the audio tools menu, you can change the volume, speed and other parameters for the entire audio track. And I want to tell you more about setting volume points because this tool allows you to precisely control and adjust the volume level in different parts of your audio. With it, you can create smooth volume transitions by gradually increasing or decreasing the sound, which is especially useful for creating an emotional effect or for making the dialogue stand out more against the background music. Basically, volume points give you complete control over the audio, making it more professional and pleasant to listen to. Imagine that you are the director of your video and you're faced with a task of not only showing beautiful imagery, but also making the sound play according to your rules. That's where just in the volume curve comes into play. Here's how it looks. And by default, for each video, it's set to 100%. This means the audio place on full volume. What if in one moment you need the music to sound quieter to highlight the voice and in another moment, on the contrary, to amplify, to create tension. First, you set the overall volume level by simply moving the white line up or down. It's your bass volume. But now we want the sound to get quieter at a certain moment. By simply right clicking on the line, you add a volume point, then you drag it down a bit and voila. At this point, the sound becomes quieter. And here's the most interesting thing. You can add as many points as you want. Want the music to gradually build up and then fade out smoothly. Just arrange the points so that they form a neat wave pattern. Using this method, you can make the transitions and sound effects as natural and organic as possible. For example, to create a smooth transition from morning to day, you can lower the volume at the beginning to around 50%. Click on the white line at the beginning of the track at a volume point and then lower it down. 
Then, when the more dynamic part of your video starts, you can make the music gradually get louder. You add another volume point where this transition should start, and another one where it ends, gradually raising the volume back to 100%. Now, when you play your video, the music starts quietly, creating an atmosphere of a calm morning, and then gradually builds up, reflecting the rhythm and dynamics of a city day. This simple technique, using volume curves, allows you to dynamically change the audio scene for your video, making it not only good looking, but also more pleasant to listen to. Remember, every experiment with sound is a step towards understanding how to tell your story, how to interact more deeply with your audience. Experiments will help you find your unique style that will make your content recognizable and truly loved. My next tip is changing the sound frequencies. Let's say you have an audio clip and you want to make it sound richer or soften it a bit. To do this, simply select the clip on the timeline and go to other tools, audio, equalizer. Now you can create your own template or use a ready-made one. Move the sliders up or down to just the specific frequency ranges. Let's take an interview, for example, where you want the voice to sound clear and stand out from the background noise. Raise the sliders at the high frequencies, which will add more clarity to the voice. And by lowering the low frequencies, you will remove unnecessary rumble. After a few tries, you will find the perfect balance where the voice sounds exactly the way you want it to. Save the settings as a new template and name it interview. Now we need to process your sound the same way in the next project. You will simply select this template from the list and save yourself a ton of precious time. The fourth tip for today is audio effects. These little effects can completely transform the mood of your video. You can use them to emphasize certain moments, add drama, or create a relaxed atmosphere. Audio effects can help you adjust the emotional impact of the video, making it more dynamic and engaging for the viewers. For example, imagine that you are making a video about your trip to the mountains. In one of the scenes where you reach the top of the mountain and you want the viewer to feel the excitement and triumph of the moment, add an echo to your voice when you shout at the top. This will enhance the feeling of open space and height. And when you walk through the forest, add the sounds of nature and a light rustle of leaves to better immerse the viewers into the scene. With audio effects, you can easily create any mood you want, helping your videos stand out and make a deeper impression on, on the audience. And this is a very powerful tool every video editor should know. The fifth tip goes beyond beyond simple post-processing in the editor and has to do with the initial recording of the sound. Every new YouTuber must understand that the quality of the final video largely depends on how well the sound was recorded initially. Even the most advanced audio effects and editing tools in the editor may be powerless if the original sound is recorded poorly in appropriate conditions. Pay special attention to the microphone you choose for recording your voice. For example, lavalier mic, also sometimes called a clip-on mic microphone, is ideal for recording vlogs or interviews, gives a clear voice and minimizes background noise by being super close to the speaker. However, it is worth remembering that a lavalier mic is just one of the tools, and you should first take the location and conditions into account. Different types of mics may be used in different situations. In our previous videos, we've already talked about the importance of considering the conditions, poor room acoustics, a noisy environment, or even improper microphone placement can negatively affect sound quality. Thus, make sure that you have done everything possible to get a high quality audio recording first and only then think about post-processing and only then think about post-processing at all. If you have already tried all the suggested tips but the result is still unsatisfactory, perhaps the problem lies in the original material. In this case, we recommend considering the recording conditions and equipment you use. For a deeper understanding of different types of microphones and their specific use cases, be sure to check out our previous video. And remember, only with the right approach to recording can you achieve the perfect quality on which all the video is built. Well edited and well recorded sound is the key to creating professional videos, improving the viewer's understanding of it, and overall better holding their eyes glued to the screens. Clean dialogues, volume balance, and the absence of background noise make the information more accessible, and correctly placed sound effects and background music make the viewing experience even better. For more video editing tips and tricks, be sure to watch our other videos. Thanks for watching and see you soon.